everybody. Welcome to my video blog at ESPN760.com. Just looking at the uh, 2010 Guide to the Gridiron. Happen to be reading a Hurricanes preview by Bobby Klein, as a matter of fact. Week 1 of the NFL officially in the books. A couple of themes from Week 1. First of all, the Dolphins. I don't want to hear that they didn't look good against the Bills. They won the game. That's all that matters. They beat them by 5 points on the road at a divisional opponent. That's all that matters. Their defense statistically is considered the best in the league based on yards allowed. But you look around their division right now. The Patriots are awesome. As a big Pats fan, their offense looks really good. They've got a great young secondary. Keep an eye on this kid, Devin McCourty, their first-round pick from Rutgers. Really, really good. And the Jets... Oh, the Super Bowl champion Jets, right? They're the only team in the league. Just ask them. Rex Ryan, Hard Knocks. They're great. Except they're not. And they lost 10-9 to the Ravens. And now they have the Pats coming up this week. You know, look, the other thing in the NFL kind of has something to do with college as well. And that's with Reggie Bush. Because I look at what Reggie Bush did. I'm not going to give him credit for all the cheating that allegedly went on. But the fact that he forfeited the Heisman, to me, means a couple of things. It means, number one, we don't have to talk about this anymore. And number two, it means we don't have another Pete Rose, you know, Mark McGuire-type scenario here where we have a guy denying his wrongdoings for years on end when we know what really happened until finally he admits it. So I think that's a very, very good thing in the NFL and in college football to get that over with. I don't think anybody wanted that out there. Now, one thing, Drew, who films this blog every single week, had a request for me specifically. He wanted me to talk about Tom Brady's hair. And I'm reluctant to do it, but you know what, I'll do it anyway. There's no better hair in the league. You know, Mike Miller has some good hair in the heat, but there's no better hair in the league than Tom Brady. The long hair is a tremendous look. I may have to go a little bit longer with mine here. A couple other quick things before we get out of here on ESPN760.com. Bad loss for the Canes this weekend at Ohio State. I know you can say, how can you say bad loss? But the way they played was not pretty. They have the weekend off, then Pitt. I wouldn't be surprised if Miami still had an 11-win season. I'm not going to take that game and think that's going to affect them the rest of the way. Kirk Herbstreit was on with us this week. He said he still thinks they're going to win the ACC championship. I tend to agree with him. I definitely root for them, no question about it. Class act by Howard Schellenberg. He made a mistake, clearly, at the end of that Michigan State game. He didn't go for the win. He went for the development. Shouldn't have done that, and he's apologized. How many coaches do you see apologize anywhere for anything, and he did to his team? That's a classy, classy move. And what a series. Yankees race here this week. Tremendous back and forth, first place battle. Is it going to matter that much? No, because both teams are in the postseason. But those two are really good baseball teams right now. And my prediction from a couple of months ago, Phillies winning that division. Unfortunately, as a Mets fan, it's going to happen. See you next week, ESPN760.com.